to be holding. There are some fireworks. Oh, fireworks. Oh, a firework that just landed right there among the police officers and now more water bottles uh, being uh, thrown at them. Uh, the police don't seem to be responding in any way. They're still uh, just holding their line. And I think I see the Brockton police chief who may be making his way toward the front of the line. And now an officer seems to be given an indication that they're going to move toward the front of the line. But again, you saw, ooh, no, so from up, up near the police department, it looks as if they are firing into the crowd, uh, perhaps uh, some non-lethal projectiles. Now more water bottles being thrown into the police department, into the police line. And uh, so that appears to be a tear gas that they fired from up there on the rock wall uh, because the tear gas is now uh, uh, dispersing. Unfortunately, from the police perspective, it's dispersing toward their own officers and the rain seems to be uh, uh, dissipating it rather quickly. So there's another, I mean, because what you can see right there that that officer is firing some sort of uh, non-lethal projectile into the crowd and the police line has moved back. David, can you estimate? The police line has moved back maybe about 30 or 40 feet. Go ahead. What, David, t t and, and you and, and Teddy Cooper, please be safe there. I'd like to just, I know we can't see now because of that, but what, what, what's, what are the numbers of the crowd on the other side of what we're looking at right now? Just to give us a sense. So it, let me try to, so that right now they're putting on gas mask. You can see they're putting on gas mask and they're putting on shields. And on the other side of the line, the crowd has really moved back. Okay, so now the gas is, the, the tear gas is starting to waft our way. So we may need to move back out of the way. Um, but this is where the crowd was of several hundred people was a short time ago. Uh, Ted, let's move away from the gas that's, that's drifting our way. Um, back down at the other end of Commercial Street, you can see that some of the demonstrators, they're putting their hands up uh, into the air. They're now probably, there's probably about two or 300 feet between the police line and, and the first demonstrators here. There's a man in a blue sweatshirt. Uh, he was telling us earlier that he is personally a victim of police brutality, and now he seems to be out in front of the demonstrators uh, trying to get out some sort of message. It's raining here, and now the demonstrators are moving toward the police line. There's somebody down, crouched down. He may be suffering the effects of, that's, the, that's uh, what it appears. of the tear gas. Mm -hmm. David, is the, is the police line Continue. And now you can see. Is the police line continuing to retreat, or are they, so, or are they holding firm? So there's two lines here, Ed. There's the line over here, back by where the lights are set up. They have moved back about 50 feet, and then there's another line of about a dozen officers who are positioned up on that rock wall right there, and they are the ones who have been firing the tear gas into the crowd. They have not retreated. They have the high ground, so to speak and now some of the demonstrators are moving toward them, but they're not really gonna be able to get there. They're not gonna be able to get up to that wall. So they're, they're holding their hands up at the crowd. Some are making much uh, less uh, polite gestures at the police that are positioned up there. And uh, the police have fired three, four, maybe a half dozen times uh, some tear gas canisters into the crowd.